Oh, what's that? Memories of Valley flood back to you. Oh, you can return to Valley. Okay. Oh. They just they add this little asterisk teleport point that brings you back and forth between uh, the ending of the game and this relics location in Valley. So you do have the ability to return. All right, that's cool. you. There's one there. I'm finding a few secret walls here. I'm just trying to find the actual big secrets, but I'm finding a few of these, too. We. Oh, a pirate ship. Is this supposed to be here? Oh, what is going on here? Any secrets along the walls? Oh, this is neat. It's an overgrown pirate ship covered in flowers. It's a nice visual. Yeah, I'm poking around trying to find owl coins and stuff like that. I'm missing one owl coin, I think. And so I'm trying to find that main stuff. I don't think I can put myself through finding every single coin in the entire game, but the owl coins, that's something. Because they go in a special spot and they seem and they suggest that they're gonna unlock the histories of the world or something. I'm like, okay, let's do that. It's a work in progress. Here's one. So up past these poison pods we encountered in Tropostrato, we have one more place to put a coin, and I have one more coin. Apparently the one from the other place comes here, even though it was from a memory, we're technically in a memory now. That's weird how that can come here. Alright. Second coin placed. Now unfortunately I need to find a, three pl uh, a third coin to place, and a third place to place coin. Because, uh... I don't think I've seen either yet, actually. Hello. Thank you. There's so many spots. There we go. This is the area I never got to fully explore because I accidentally went the exact way I was supposed to go. Ooh! That's not very nice. What just... What just happened? What? Wait, what? What? <laughs> Excuse me? I don't understand what just happened. Did I trigger something with a- like, I don't- I don't know what I did to do that. <laughs> oh, there's more stuff here too. Yay! Is that it? How did I not get these before? Oh, because there was a waterfall here. And the waterfall's gone now. Take that, waterfall. Die, nature. Oh, there it is. There it is. I've been waiting an eternity to get any sign of this thing. Everything die. I got things to do. Go, go away. Everything die now. Everything die now. Go away. There we go. Uh, can I go through the wall? Oh! Answer is yes. Hi. Level. Being crazy. Alright, I can I have to platform through the whole thing because I can't use any of my friends. Ow. That was terrible timing. Oh my goodness. No. Oh, ah, ah. Okay. Well, that's not very nice. Hang on, can't. Oh yeah, I can't. I can't hold them for a second, so I can't even try to attack them right now. Aha! Get out of here. Put your nonsense. Aha! Uh oh, careful! Just trying to hit our head on that. 
Wasn't sure if I could jump that high, but didn't really want to test it too hard. Aha! Hey! Oh, owl coin is mine. The lessons of history must be preserved. Even when that history is a terrible one. With this token, you hold the key. Find me at the sanctuary. And you will see what once was. And what became of our fragile dreams. Yeah! That's, the, that's three. Where do I place it, though? That's the next question. Is where in the world do you put them? <laughs> also, how do I get back out of here? <laughs> Now here's something. On the way to the floating continent, there's this waterfall I never got a chance to go across because I didn't have the spider yet, and I never came back. This is from a long time ago, actually. Careful. Don't want to fall back down. I think I haven't been here before. Unfortunately, the waterfalls kind of all look the same. I'm noticing that as I go back and try to explore this game, it's kind of hard to figure out where in the world I'm going and where I am, because, uh... Oops. Oh no, did I really just do that? Ah. Uh, I made a terrible mistake. Because while the while the game has distinct zones, once you're in a zone, everything kind of looks samey. Uh, which wasn't an issue when you're playing the main game, because all, you generally only had one direction you could go in, because you're always trying to unlock doors and stuff like that. But once all the doors are unlocked, you just can end up running in circles a lot of the time, because you're, everything kind of loops on itself. There it is. I mean, you literally go in circles, because each dungeon becomes a circle, usually, because the X, the uh, exit usually loops around to the entrance. Hey, it's the exact same, it's the exact thing I thought it would open. So as I expected, that one weird gate that was off to the side in Tropos or Stratos, it opens up. So I guess three was the magic number once again in this game. Backtracking time. I kind of wish there was a fast travel. There isn't one, right? I'm not crazy, am I? I'm fairly sure there's no fast travel. Yeah, once you're at this point in the game, it would actually be kind of nice to just be like, Hey, take me to Veli, and stuff like that. A hearthstone? <laughs> I am Twig, the greatest spider in the world. I was born into a pretty boring family. But through grueling training and effort, I have become the best bona fide spider. Huh. And what does being the best spider entail? Come on, guys. Everything about me is spidery. And I can shoot webs and stuff. Do you know anyone else who can do that? How did you make the costume? I sewed them. Pretty good, right? You might be less of a doofus than I thought. I'm glad I can hang out with you guys. Tomorrow will be a blast, too. Well, we need to find a way above Mesos. We'll just have to look for someone for someone who knows how, I think. At least we'll have some time. Even the pirate ships will struggle to get past Mesos. I've never known the pirates to fail to get anywhere they wanted to go, but I think it will likely take them time to prepare the ships. Then that means we have time to explore. Well, it's still important to... It's always good... I've always wanted to explore, Otis. There's lots of caves and cool places in Tropos and Strato. Come on, we might even discover something useful. Guys, let's go explore! Yes, yes. There will indeed be time to explore in the morning. But he's right, if we explore, we might find some clues as to what's going on. It feels like there's still a few important things we don't know about. So what do we call this place? The Owl Basement? Owl Temple Basement or something? That's the teleporter. I've made a terrible, terrible mistake. Where are you hiding from me? There, it's probably over here. Ow? Get out of here. There you are. Do you have a name? Well, now where am I? Do you have a name on this thing? 
Uh, you do not appear to have a name on here either. Unless I missed something. There's no scroll bar, so I think it just stopped expanding at one point. Because eventually the they stopped they stopped adding zones with with uh, coins. There's a lot of directions I can go in. I'm a little concerned about that. Uh, I'll try to keep track of where I'm going. Oh, this seems like a big deal. Big owl chamber. Welcome, friend. I am Cernia of the House of Preservation and Diplomacy. What you see before you is my life's work. The Eternal Sanctuary, a place to record the thoughts of our leaders and artisans. The brightest owls to have ever lived, they say. I hope that knowledge enshrined here may aid you, and that you will share the wisdom of the owls with all who care to listen. So this is what's left of the... of the owls. This is the equivalent of, like, the forerunner species, or... the various many, many, many creatures that are... They, every, every fantasy setting, or sci-fi setting, tends to have, like, some sort of predator, as a race. I was double checking because these uh, circles are a little missable, and I want to make sure I didn't miss any back there. Times are changing, it would seem. Agualis and Nocte, they sure are an incredible pair. The temple guardians they made, terrifying as they are, have kept the temples completely safe. And now Agualis tells me that Nocte has thought of a way to uh, to make thinking machines. Agualis says he will put them in production soon. My role as a combat instructor may eventually be no longer be necessary. No wonder those two are never seen apart. Who else can truly relate to such brilliant minds? Of the House of Travel, for these inventions, it is not the duty to roam the skies. Let us, free and healthy and Cherished descendants find their own purpose. So we have, we have damaged records now. I bet you the damaged records are the ones I would refer to what's actually going on. Hey, it's a little psyched looking character we saw on that one statue. I think Nocte is on to discovery of a lifetime. He's been locked up in his lab for ages and speaks only in whispers about it. Nocte is almost too brilliant. Even Aegilus can barely keep up with his thinking. The automatons they've created have been revolutionary. If Nocte believes his next discovery will be even greater, I can't even imagine what it'll be. Aw, optimism. Yay. Oops. So these are the same characters we saw in the portraits. We have incredible Nocte. This loop for lead of farming. Support him. His debt. Not much to get from some of these. Whoa! It's Osio! Oh no, wait. He just looks like him. So this was Nocte's great discovery. The loop? I am disappointed that most of the owls take this seriously. No matter what he says, such a thing cannot be proven. Of course Aegilus was has taken Nocte's side, as he always does. Inseparable, those two, even in failure. It goes over my head, he says. I suppose nothing can go over Aegilus' head. Well, with how big it got after he made the aut automatons. Leeching off Nocte's brilliance has made him quite the reputation. If he didn't have Nocte beside him, he would be no one at all. I will not be talked down to by a self-aggrandized buffoon. Oh, they didn't like that. You're in scrap mode, I can't talk to you yet. This place kind of wraps around in a lot of directions. I'm kind of worried I'll miss something. Still happy to find it in the first place. Oh, there's an underground area. Can't go there. Why would they put spikes here? This is Aegolus. Nocte is gone. One of my automatons went amok. I had it destroyed, but now I've lost my only friend and the genius behind the hex machine. 
It's too complicated. Knock the schematics for the hex machine and his theorems on the loop. My own machine is only a pale imitation. This is the best I have been able to come up with. I redid the calculations. The chances of catastrophic, catastrophic failure of the hex machine is are enormous. If it fails, the planet will never look the same again. Countless lives lost, and more lives ruined. Fifty-fifty. Those are the odds of success and failure. Fifty-fifty. And yet, if I don't complete this task, Nocte's life work, then my soul will die along with him. I have decided to lie to the other owls. I will not tell them of the danger. The hex machine will be built. The loop will be broken. You may, you, my descendant, you will be my backup plan. I will guide one with my crest to this place to listen to these words. Do not be alarmed. This is within my ability. Take the clues I have left behind here and follow them. I only ask, I only ask that you tell no one. No one must know that I, weakest among the owls, and the disgrace of our kind, risk the doom of our world. People must be able to trust each other, even in a world with monsters like me. Good luck. And Nocte, I'm sorry. Does the entire thing loop again? It probably does, doesn't it? Whoops. Yep, it holding loops again. So it seems that he looks kind of like we do, actually. So like, are we supposed to be his descendant that was guided here? Is that why we're mute? Are we mute because we can't share his secret? Is that intentional? You almost gotta wonder, right? Have I skipped stuff by coming here along this way? So that goes back to the surface. What's down here? Nothing, perhaps? So that's it. He's the guy behind everything. He knew what he knew what might happen. Said it was 50-50. And to half oh the riches are all gone. That makes me sad. What if all the coins came from here originally? And she gra and the Buccan and Buccanary grabbed him. That'd be a strange detail, huh? Was that the only way to was that the only path I could have taken through this place? Oh yeah, this is where I went and that door was locked. Up here was a. Uh, Oh yeah, I thought I was picking paths, but I wasn't at all. I thought there was a way up here, but th this was a dead end. And I thought there was a path down there, but that was the, uh... That was locked. <laughs> I just happened to go the right way again. So that's that. That's how you discover the secret. And you you have to beat the game first, as far as I can tell, because you have to... Get the, you have, I think you have to beat... You have to get the last coin in the final level, and you have to beat the final boss in order to... Uh... And you have to beat the final boss and continue that save file in order to even revert back and do this. So they don't they don't let you spoil yourself by being super clever or super thorough. That's that. Alright then. Oh, rocks. Why? Shame on you. So, this has been uh Owlboy. I think I'm done here. Yeah. So I beat the game and I uncovered the big secret that you can do in the post game. I could farm coins to get that cape, but, you know, the game's over at this point, so I'm not particularly interested, to be honest. And, frankly, I think agonizing over collectibles for that long would kind of make me like the game less. And I like and I like the game right now, so I'm going to stop now. <laughs> Thanks for watching, like always, guys. And uh, if you want something related, uh, be sure to check out my, my Shovel Knight playthrough. That's similar enough that you may be interested in that. I'm also playing Super Mario right now. Super Mario World. Uh, that's an experience, because I've never played it before, ever. And, uh, yeah, if there's ever an expansion, or a sequel, or a remake, or DLC, or whatever for this game, I'll play that. And I'll be playing Shovel Knight campaigns as they come out. There's supposed to be, like, two more of those at the very least, I think. And, uh, thanks for watching, like always, guys. And I'll see you next time.